Greetings. So this is going to be for the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for the love portion of this reading. I will first be tapping into general energy and then moving into love. Hopefully this reading provides you with the clarity that you need. But please understand that because it is general, it may or may not resonate fully for you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Thank you to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate the support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I will be pulling a direct angel answer in regards to love for the collective. So if you have a more direct question, please keep it in mind until the end and hopefully provide you with the clarity that you need. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Aquarius. Also, if anyone is interested in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit Get Bree Spirit God Insight. I also have reviews posted on there as well. Okay, so Aquarius, your general energy. We have the Ace of Swords and the Lover's card. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords. And we have the Six of Wands and the Justice card in reverse. So <clears throat> I feel like some sort of clarity is coming to you about maybe a love situation or just about what decision that needs to be made in something. Um, I am for a lot of you feeling that it is love here, but let's see. It doesn't have to be. Why is the justice card in reverse? Within your general energy, I'm feeling like you could be dealing with another air sign or a Libra. Um, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords here with the Lovers card? I'm also feeling like there could be some sort of new start. We have the King of Wands here. Some sort of new start or breakthrough within a love situation or something that you've been wanting to um, make a decision about or that involves something that you very care, very much care about, something that you're passionate about, something that you know that you want. There's some sort of breakthrough coming within this time. So you're going to be drifting off of that energy. Um, I feel like... I think what's helped you um, is that you looked at the situation more realistically um, and in a logical way and use that to your advantage. I feel like it wasn't a thing where even though this is something that I feel like you really want, you looked at it realistically. So it, it allowed it to come in for you. So why is the Knight of Cups here in the base with the Queen of Swords? I feel like it has to do with this, this justice card in reverse, with this energy here. There was some sort of bad ending or some sort of ending that didn't work out for you. Um, and because of the way that you thought you manifested or you allowed it to come back in for you by, you know, just letting go of the disappointment, the rejection, the the bad ending and whatever it was before you got to this breakthrough. You released it and that's how you got to the ace. And this is what will be going on. Um, so this is going to be from now, April the 24th until May 15th. Um, I apologize for the delay. I'm kind of on vacation. So, yeah. But um, Six of Wands. I feel like just focus on moving forward in this situation. Like, don't focus on... Um, Whatever bad happened before this and brought you to this new beginning. Just stay focused on the good of the situation. So let's see. What is the advice for the Aquarius? We have the five of swords and the six of pentacles. 
So I feel like there was um, some sort of struggle or there could be some leftover kind of worrying, even though there is some sort of break within the situation and how things will move forward. But I feel like, like I said, don't focus, alleviate this energy of, you know, the potential for bad. Focus on the good and what you put in. Focus on your efforts and your discipline and, you know, staying focused and going after and putting action into this new breakthrough for yourself. And you will see reward from it is what I'm getting. So love on this person's end. You can be either or. We have the seven of cups in reverse with the five of cups. We have the king of pentacles in the world card in reverse. We have the Three of Cups here with the Four of Wands in reverse for this person. And we have the Eight of Swords and the Sun card in reverse. And in the connection, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Temperance card in reverse. So there's a lack of balance or healing between you and this person right now, I feel like. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also could be dealing with um, another air sign, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra. Um, we have Sagittarius here. We have Leo. So heavy air and fire and water. Okay. Um, but it could be anyone. But I feel like there's a lack of balance or a lack of harmony because things aren't centered. Things aren't balanced. Things aren't like wholly coming together as one. Um, Seven of Cups here in reverse with the Five of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords. So I feel like this person um, is hurt. Like they're aware of something and they're aware of their emotions. And I feel like they kind of want to move forward in the connection and have a commitment here. But they're very hurt. Um... <clears throat> I feel like they wish for the situation not to end, even though it's something that they're contemplating, because I feel like something happened um, between the both of you, possibly, or it could just be something outside of the, the connection that's affecting the situation as well. Um, but they're hurt, and I feel like they wish to move forward, but at the same time, they, they maybe want to take it a little bit more slowly with the King of Pentacles. It also could be a thing where they're needing more finances or needing more of that kind of support from you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe they need more support um, financially, or that's kind of what they're, they're hurt about or they're struggling with, and so they feel like they can't really give to the situation as much as they would like to, um, but they don't want things to end here. Okay, so on this person's end, we have the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands in reverse. So why is this here? Uh -oh. Have the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person kind of just wants to move into it more as a more as a friendship. We have the Two of Cups, um, but I feel like this was a love connection here before um, with the Two of Pentacles or the Two of Cups. Because three came after it. But I feel like this person just wants to get to know you more or just kind of bond or, you know, build back up that comfortability or whatever it is in order to be able to maybe come into a connection. Because we have the four of wands here. And even though it's in reverse, the energy is still present. So it's like they're, they're wanting to move into, you know, a commitment here possibly, but they're wanting to get more comfortable. Um, because I feel like they have some things that they're worried about here with the Nine of Swords when it comes to the connection. And again, there's a there's a lack of balance here and a lack of getting what you both want from one another because of some difficulties. So why is the Eight of Swords here with the Sun card in reverse? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So... Whatever this Nine of Swords energy is, I feel like they're really stuck in it, okay? They're stuck in it and it's making them unhappy. And it's making them, although they're wanting to um, move into a relationship, it's kind of making them not want to. What is this Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords energy? Thinking. 
We have the death card, the page of cups, and the full card in reverse. So I feel like it's a thing where they want a commitment and they want to move into something, but I feel like they don't feel all the way satisfied within the situation as far as like the connection. I feel like they maybe want something more um, or they're not wanting to take a risk within the situation again. It's like they have love for the other person, but at the same time, it's almost not enough. Um, For some of you, I'm also getting, it could just be a thing where because of whatever these difficulties are, um, it's making this person stressed out and worried and not happy where the connection is or where they are. And so they're not wanting to move into a commitment just yet. Like they're not wanting to take that risk, but they are willing to offer love and offer some of that kind of support, but not really all the way moved in yet. So Let's see why this Nine of Cups is in reverse with the Temperance card in reverse. We have the High Priestess. So it's known that whatever it, it is that's... Are you okay? Okay, so whatever it is that's causing imbalance or... Um, I feel like it could be a thing with, with needing time as well. No. With the temperance card here, maybe there's some sort of impatient energy and moving forward. Um, but I feel like it's known that there is time needed to rebalance everything, recenter everything, to really get to the place that is wanted within the connection between you two. Oh my gosh. This is why I don't bring you up here, my mom. Let's just sit down. Okay, so in the outcome, we have the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords, or I'm sorry, the Page of Swords and the Two of Swords in reverse. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of decision made based off of communication here. Let's see. We have the Seven of Wands. Let's get some more clarity. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like it's going to be a thing where whoever is hurt in the situation is kind of going to stand their ground and really um, communicate that. To maybe create some understanding or to, you know, kind of um, give some sort of decision or make some sort of decision based off of that and based off of the communication. And there's going to be some sort of separation um, or it could just be a conversation that you both have where someone is being truthful and honest and open to the other person is saying, look, you know that this is not something we can do right now because things need to be done first. Um, so there could be some sort of feeling lack emotional wise or being upset or feeling isolated or rejected by the other due to them still needing more time or whatever it is but i'm kind of getting an energy like that so let's see what your advice is aquarius okay no 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 None. Let's see what is, Aquarius. We have the six of cups. Let's see one more. Okay, so for your advice, we have the six of cups and the three of cups. So I feel like um, it is a good thing that you and this person reconciled or you and this person or are getting, um, you know, more comfortable, more acquainted with one another. And I feel like just allow it to be that for now. I feel like there's some things that still need to be done. And maybe, you know, just for the time being, you and this person just need to be friends in order to then make a decision about maybe reconciling or really moving forward with things. Okay, so let's see what your angel answer is. If I did not say it in the beginning, because for some reason I'm forgetting if I'm saying it or not, um, I will be pulling a direct love, or I'm going to pull a direct love answer for the collective Aquarius. So if you have a more direct question, think about it, and hopefully the answer I will provide you with the clarity that you need.
No. We have be assertive. So on whatever that you're wanting, make sure that you're being direct. Make sure that um, you're standing your ground. And yeah, I hope that this reading resonated for you. You can check your moon, your rising, and your Venus placements as well. You also can book a personal reading with me. All the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for your support. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all next time.